<laughs> oh, that never starts being funny. Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. We are here in New York City, Leisure Suit Larry 5, etc., etc. So what's, what's happened so far? So we've gone back and forth between Larry and Patty at least once. So we got introduced to Larry. He is on a journey to find the, what, the sexiest woman in America or something like that. So we're here in New York, one of three stops, Miami and, uh, what was the other one, Don? Bo not Boston. Somewhere. We're, it'll be around. Anyway, so Patty is also now, she got kicked out of a piano bar and is, she hates everybody there. Now she joined up with a special FBI type of thing to bring them to justice. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, directly beneath the security camera is a charity canister. Not sure if that has two ends, containing many pennies, nickels, dimes, but only one quarter. I have a feeling I'm going to need that quarter, but I can't do it with this camera watching me. Or can I? Oh, there goes your chance for the Larry's Kids telethon. Okay, I guess the camera doesn't care, so I have a quarter? I do! You know what? Screw these kids, I'm taking a leak in it. No, don't do that to the charity collection canister. That only has one end in it. <laughs> I wonder if these two guys get along in this universe. In LA, do you guys get along? Yeah, oh, well, they're moving to this side. This doesn't look good. No, no, they seem fine. It's like whenever I go to one side, they move to the other, but I think that's a game mechanic because they don't want to help me. No, there they go. They still hate each other. So, uh, first thing we have to do, since this is the days before internet and GPS and phones, first things first, we're going to need to put one of these tapes into the recorder. Bam, there we go, point for that. Times Square, 940 West. Okay, so I need to look up the Hard Disk Cafe. Shouldn't be too hard to find, but maybe I can call a car or something. I probably have to find out where it is first, even though it's Times Square, the most, no, the biggest hub in New York City. Does 411 exist in this universe? Uh-oh, well, that's using my quarter. I hope this works. Does that mean my quarter is gone? Four and one supposed to be a free. Yeah, okay, I got my quarter back. It's supposed to be a free call, or is it three one one? If I have it backwards, I don't know. What happens if I call nine one one? Nope, same thing. Nine one one is also directory assistance. Thank you, helpful police officer. Okay, so the phone books don't have any. That's probably. I think. Something Mawini was the name? Emmett Mawini? I don't quite get it. I couldn't hear it. Oh, well. So not much else to do in this airport. Nothing looks different, except I was able to get a quarter out of this to make a phone call for a phone number I don't know. Let's just go out and poke around, shall we? LaGuardia. Oh, sweet. We're in Queens. All right, how do I get a cab? This is not LaGuardia at all. Where is everybody? Uh, huh. Well, let's just start walking. No. Can I walk into the street and not die? Not even an option. And I can't walk past these bags. Okay, so I do need to make a phone call. See, once I get a cab, it'll be fine because I know the address, but how do I call a cab? No, oh, maybe one of these signs up here will tell me. Let's see. Dr. Seymour Wieners of the Wieners Clinic says chronic fatigue, prostate problems, hemorrhoids, kidney stones, liver spots, osteoporosis, arthritis, psoriasis, cataracts, and cotton allergies. Her in a year. <laughs> Go somewhere else, okay? <laughs> Cute. Uh, let's see, the Stick 'em Up Pawn Shop, uh, New York City Ballet Company, 2015th production of Sleeping Beauty opens August 15th. That's adorable. Oh, and it's actually opening, uh, this year. Fantastic. Oh, this is poignant. The mayor's office is pleased to announce the 25th annual Why I Love New York, even though you have to take your life into your hands every time you open your front door and who can afford to live here anyway, songwriting contest. Forms available at City Hall. It's carefree living in the Eurasian style in Exorbitania townhouses. Only a half block from Central Park, Broadway, Madison Square Garden, Statue of Liberty, UN Building, World Trade Center, Automat. One bedroom start at $10 million. Security locks, no pets, and no vacancies to the likes of you either, buddy. All right, I feel like I'm on the right track. There must be a taxi one around here somewhere. Now in its first straight season on Broadway, Harold King's Kiss Me, My Fair Fiddler on the West Side of the Best Little Cabaret in Oklahoma. Sold out through April 2003. 
Even better than last year's Hello Andy's Greasy South Pacific Chorus Line. <laughs> there it is. I fi the last one I look at. Naturellement. I wonder if the game actually did that. From anywhere to anywhere in New York City, there's no limousine service like the precisely, totally, exactly like Checker Limo. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, 5524668. Anytime. Got it. Um, my name is Larry, Larry, Larry Laffer. Um, wh what was the question again? What you deaf? Where, where you, where, where you wanna go? Oh, um, I'm at the airport, at the Aerodork Terminal. Gotcha, meet you outside. Alright, easy enough, and it only cost me a quarter. Whoa, and that service, and looks exactly like, as promised, my previous limo. In we go, do they still have the same fish? They do! All right, is there anything in here I can grab? Yes, what is this? Look, some poor unfortunate traveler forgot his appointment calendar. Mine now. Yeah, too bad for the other guy. He'll never know. Besides, he would probably want you to have it. Let's take a look at it. Who is it? It's a day trotter. Inside you find some folding money with more than two digits in the corners, many credit cards, some mutual fund account access codes, and a Swiss bank account number. Whoa, this is even better than having your own savings and loan, as you think you may have had in Legion Suit Larry for the missing floppies. Uh, let's see, credit card, whoever this Pat Patterson guy, sure, he was loaded. Pat Patterson. Uh, I don't get it. And then, uh, this is, there's some more stuff. I guess that's all I need. So I have credit cards now and cash. I have all the money I'll ever need in New York City. Screw this job. Let's go a party. Hard disk cafe, huh? It's a great place. Yeah, if you like computers. And, well, this, uh, th no, this pretty shouldn't trigger a transition, I'd imagine. I guess we'll just roll on. Can I make a call? Hello? I'm sorry, sir, but my cellular telephone won't work in this area. Too much interference or something. Besides, I'm sure you were not given authorization for cellular calls. Damn. All your life you wanted to try a cell phone. Oh, well. Well, wait a couple of years, Larry. And your life will be ruined just like the rest of us. Beautiful. All right. So the Hard Rock Cafe has been replaced with the Hard Disc Cafe. This is Times Square. Excellent time to save. Yeah, why not? Can I walk anywhere besides this one block? Can I explore Times Square a little bit? Nope. That's all that exists. The exterior of the Hard Disc Cafe is in keeping with their com computer memorabilia motif. Uh, I don't get it. It looks like... The oh, they're discs. I get it. But they're floppy disks, not a hard disk. Get your facts straight, hard disk cafe. Mm, not as fancy as I was imagining. Okay, why am I here again? I forgot. It's so, okay, so our girl has been here. What was her name? Michelle Milken. All right, so maybe she hangs out here. So we got to figure out what the, it just looks like an internet cafe. Do those exist yet? I don't think they do. I think you just kind of use the computers. All right, let's figure out what the heck we're doing here. This guy looks like he's in charge. My good mustachioed man, lead me. Hello, you say to the maitre d'. Do you have a table for a swinging guy like me? No. Uh. But, 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 sir, perhaps you've heard of me? My name is Larry. <laughs> L Larry Laffer? No. Wow. So he's just eyeballing me. He's not going to let me into the club. Okay, uh, help me. I'd really like to get something to eat. Uh, may I have a table now? No. Hmm, all right. I need to convince him with money. Probably bribery works on every maitre d' in every game. Say, good fellow, would you be willing to accept a little bribe? Uh, but of course, my sewer, says the maitre d's snootily. It worked in Larry 3, didn't it? Oh, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how much do you wish to bribe the maitre d'? I don't even know how much I have. Let's give him a hundred bucks. Uh, please follow me, Sal, says the maitre d', walking to the punch tape reader. Allow me to prepare you for a membership in our exclusive club. I get my own punch card? Whoa! I love these theme restaurants. There you are, Sal. Enjoy your visit here at the lovely Hard Disk Cafe. You're not even going to get it for me? Should I tip you more? Service here sucks. What an interesting way to make a club membership card. No one uses this antique nine track paper tape anymore. Uh, how do I use it? Do I put it right back into the machine? What's this little thing here on here that's standing out to me? Music boxes show an early use of the principle that made punch card possible. It gave precisely aligned pins meaning as musical pitches. How interesting, the music box's cylinder appears to be the same shape as your membership tape. Alright, well let's see if it plays music. Maybe that's the way in. 
Kind of cool that it makes you puzzle to get in. I kind of feel it makes you feel like it's kind of a spy. Oh, you wonder if this will ruin your only means of admission to the cafe. I want to play my theme song. Larry, how brilliant you are. Carefully wrapping the membership tape around the music box's cylinder, you punch a new set of holes in your membership tape, altering it forever. But now, will you be able to enter the cafe? Was this a bad thing to do? Uh, or maybe I'll just put it back in the machine. There we go. You carefully insert your paper membership tape into the ancient machine. Alright. Processing. Super user number one. Welcome, Mr. Gilbert Hyatt. Go right on in. Sit anywhere you like. That's awesome. Alright, so I just upgraded my... Ooh. Look at this place. It's huge. Alright, so we got a diskettes over here. I don't see much else that's kind of computer-themed in this whole area. Lady, will you please close your mouth? Okay, I'd imagine, like, if I had the regular membership card and I came in here, I wouldn't be able to get past this door, but I can only sit here. You no longer have to sit at this table, Larry, since you are now a super user. Whatever that means. Okay, yeah, so my theory was correct. Let's go into the depths. Uh, feel free to enter the Herman Hollerith. Oh, 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 it ate my tape. Oh, all right. I better make this worth it. I have no other entries. Uh, this is my table? Well, at least the view is nice, I guess. Looking right into your uh, booth there, lady. Probably who I'm looking for, but let's see who else is here in attendance. Just says other couples. Okay, nothing great. A breathtakingly beautiful black woman sits alone at a booth, playing slowly and sensually with a dessert. It's Michelle Milken! You found her, Larry! Well done. Uh, well, I guess- Oh, wait, wait, wait! I have to record all my interactions, so let's make sure we turn this on. Slipping your green felt tip pen between the 5mm lead mechanical pencil, the blue ink rolling ball pen, you switch the camcorder on. Chargement- Alright, so I have five minutes to figure out Everything I need to know about Michelle Milken, which probably means I should save. Hello, lovely, lonely lady, you say to the gorgeous babe sitting all alone in the booth near you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. You hope she doesn't just ignore you. Hi, Larry, she says with a friendly smile. New in town? Uh, yes. Remembering your boss's warning not to reveal your identity, you decide to begin with a casual opener. You come here often? Nearly as many times as I'm here. Oh, innuendo-ish. Now, what did that mean? Uh, perhaps I can mention her power clothes, you think to yourself? A compliment on her apparel might be appropriate. What a lovely suit you're wearing. And you certainly look good in it. That may be, but I look even better out of it. You do look kind of out of it. Say, this may turn out all right yet. I notice you're dining alone. Yes, and dining isn't the only thing I do enjoy doing alone. Is everything you say a masturbatory reference, Michelle? I was wondering, may I join you for dinner? You may as well sit down, but it may be just for dessert. A better offer you've never had, Larry. Go for it! Ah. Uh. Oh, there she is. A gigantic banana split and gigantic 90s hoop earrings. Did I mention my name? I, I didn't think so. Uh, my name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Good evening, Lawrence. I'm Michelle Milken, programming trading specialist and sometime computer hobbyist. I'm really into computers, you say, exposing wisdom beyond your years. In fact, I've written a couple of very successful computer games. At least, I, I, I think I have. Oh, really? Does that mean you have lots of money? <laughs> no, I'm a game programmer. Doesn't work that way. I make a nice living. Or, well, I, I, I think I did. Uh, but now, I, I'm not so sure. You see, I've been having a little trouble lately with amnesia. Uh, uh, so what is it that you do? Just told you, Larry. I laugh all the way to and from the bank. I'm a junk bond dealer. So what does a junk bond dealer do? So th all I do is just keep clicking on her face until things happen. Whatever she can. I've been hearing lots of good things about junk bonds. Uh, would you recommend them as an integral part of my portfolio? Junk bonds, eh? She warms perceptibly. Why, I think I was just telling a friend about them today. Yes, I think they would be a perfect for someone like you. Uh, can we move this along, please? Really? I thought investments were too risky for an or- Let's fast forward this a little bit. Alright, she just offered to open my account. Finger quotes. And I got a ding. 
So I guess it's by talking to her about junk bonds that turns her on. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't. Oh! Ooh, Larry. I know a way we can increase your interest. What does she mean by that, Larry? You're a software kind of guy, and I'm a hardware kind of girl. How do I download onto your hard disk? Allow me to make our booth more private. Uh, just met you. There's no one else here. I think we're fine. Oh, there goes the music. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's turned into Cousin It. Michelle. Michelle, you alright? Oh my. Uh, well, you're able to make, uh... Well, all right, Michelle, I'll see you later. I guess I'll never see her again. Oh, well, I guess she's too busy cleaning the floors. Oh, okay, good, I got points. You're almost sorry you're recording all this. What would the boys in Hollywood think? Uh, props to you, Larry. Oh, Oh, I like how his nose is a little bit more euphemistic there. You think, I don't need these credit cards, so you gladly offer them to Michelle in return for a little more of the same. Wow, I just gave her all my credit cards in exchange for another... Larry. Leaving through your day trotter with Michelle, she expresses an interest in some of those cryptic numbers listed besides the notation Swiss accounts. You allow her to keep the book since you have no interest in chocolate. Uh, okay, a few more minutes with Michelle and you stagger back to your feet and attempt to walk back to the hard disk cafe lobby. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm done recording. Let's turn this off so I don't waste battery. Okay, so let's just recap what happened here. I gave this woman all of my credit cards I found, uh, a blank check to a Swiss bank account. Larry, do you... Larry, you're an idiot. I guess that's it. I guess we just go right back to the airport and we go to the place number two, but it feels like there's more to do here. Oh, I don't remember the phone number for the limo company. Uh, maybe I do? Dang it! Ah, oh, I gotta uh, rewind. Five five two. Oh, it's close. Four six six eight. Five five two four six six eight. Don't forget. And that's it. I came to New York City, and that's all I came here for. Are you sure I'm not missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. I guess we'll know anyway. Save often. That's what I do. Ooh, we should get that exhaust looked at, ma'am. Oh man, I gotta go through the whole airport rigmarole thing and look up all the numbers to where I want to go. Fudge! I don't want to. At least this fish is my friend and he's gone too. Meanwhile, your boss receives an angry telephone call. Silas Screwmall listens intently and deferentially on the powerful voice at the other end of the line. Let me assure you, Julius, everything is proceeding nicely. No, no, sir, I will not let you down. Yes, sir. That's also being taken care of. No, it's handled. I have a man on it right now. Just all right. Whatever you say, Julius. Hmm. All right. So meanwhile, back in your limo. <laughs> that was quest. Sir, we have arrived at your destination. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So we have proof that Silas and Julius are in cahoots. And I think Julius was Mr. Big, right? Is that what, the, is that what was happening? I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. We got to through all this again. All right. Uh, where should we go next? All right, I've decided we'll go to uh, Atlantic City because it's pretty much New York City adjacent. Don't really need to take a, a flight there. I mean, it's it's right across the river. I could probably take a bus there, but whatever. Company funds. Now we wait again. All right, so now instead of just waiting, I believe we can use the magazine on ourselves to to pretty much force us to sleep. I lied. There we go. Uh, you discover an interesting article that says computer punch cards are descendants of a long line of mechanical products dating all the way back to the music box. Oh, uh, you promised to re Well, thanks for that now, jerks. Anything else I can learn? No, that's all that exists for is to give you a hint for the thing we figured out by ourselves. Nice socks, by the way. I like your purple socks. All right. Sleep. Sleep. Ah, this is the life. In your dream, you are a handsome gondolier poling through the canals of Venice with your lone, lovely female customer, Passionate Patty. Everything is going well until... You stick it in too deeply. That experience wholly unfamiliar to you. Oh, there. Oh, oh, you meant to do that, didn't you, sly dog? 
deciding to seize the moment you wriggle down next to Patty. Wriggle is probably the like unsexiest word ever, right besides moist. Relying on the subtle canal currents to propel you through your night of love. Oh no, get your hands off me! That's not what I meant by personal driver! Oh slap! Squirming across the leather seat, also uh, a very unsexy word. You grab the door handle, fling open the door, and escape that limousine and that chauffeur. All right, thanks a lot, jerk. You are so fired. The Shill Building. Uh, sure. The Shill Building is one of Baltimore's finest office buildings, so that's where we are. Its granite, brass, and stainless steel facade shines in the sunlight. A revolving door promises access to its interior. Is that a reference to something? No, I thought it would have had, like, some sort of real-life analog or something, but nothing I could find. The Shill Building's management is so patriotic, what, with red flags? What, is this communist China? All right. Ooh, sleeping guard. I can go wherever I like. Hello. All right, where are we going? Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Aloe supplies. Oh, Halloween supplies. Okay, got it. Hell Industries. Oh, Hello Industries. Pro uh, producers of gr uh, greeting cards. Oh, got it. Uh, Duck Youth is a wonderful public service that, uh, that specializes in familiarizing inner-city youngsters with the varieties of barnyard aquatic fowl. Desreva Records! That's it! No, room 900. Got it. Uh, Aerodork is here. So high class, their offices are forbidden to the public. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shipheads, uh, providing the finest commodes to available ocean-going vessels. Big Buttons Industries, of course, and Hard Disk Services uh, for your database files. That's great, but we don't need to go any of these places. So let's go to uh, Desreva Records, whatever that means. Can we, can we go? Oh, exit. Alright, let's not wake him up, because I don't... We're pretty... I think we're supposed to be surreptitious here, right? Sneaking? Yes. Let's just ignore him. Oh, drat. Okay, I need him to open up the elevator. Hmm, well, time to use your feminine wiles, Patty. Yeah, you need something? Excuse me, you say to the well-rested guard. I'm here to see Mr. Baez in room 900. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, give me a second while I make sure he's in, sighs the overworked guard. Okay, honey, he's waiting for you upstairs. I'm calling the elevator for you right now. I don't think you called the- You did! Okay, you are able to do your job. Thank you, my man. Mmm. Alright, that must be him in there. Uh, oh, do I have any surveillance uh, stuff of my own? I do... I think- I don't think this actually records anything, does it? At least I'm armed with a revolver bra. That's important. All kinds of stuff here. Uh, sculpture represents the patron saint of recording company, Saint Needle! I guess she's holding up a bunch of records, I guess. What's this gold record? This looks important. Uh, this gold record is rewarded to Reverse Bias, Chief Engineer of Disriver Records. Hmm, there's a record player here. I don't have anything to play, though. Unless I'll know that for later. Can I just take the record and play that? I can! Wriggling the gold record loose on the stock you discovered is loose enough to be removed, so you do. You've always wanted to have a gold record ever since you began playing professionally at age 13. But you never dreamed you would get it like this. Okay, let's see if this plays. I'm curious. I'm gonna scratch the crap out of it. Uh, 33 and a third times per minute, only when it's on. We want... No, that's not a 78, so we're gonna play a, a 33. Uh, how do I turn it on? No, there we go, it's on. Let's put the turn stylus over there. Oh, it actually does work! It plays music! Neat! I can play it backwards. Oh, okay, I, get, I think this is going to be a mechanic that's important later. To kind of prove there's reverse biasing going on. Just say yes. Whoa! Just say... Well, that was weird. Why, that's the opposite of what Nancy Reagan said. You now have uncontrovertible evidence that Desmond sent you to find, and I finally understand what evil this place does. How vile, how corrupt. Death Rever Records records backwards music to urging innocent teenagers to violate the law. <gasps> you never really believed this before now, but you believe it. If only you could obtain more evidence to prove your case. I will do so. Uh, don't remove it while it's spinning. Okay, stop, 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 stop. There we go. I'll take that. Thank you. That is evidence. And off we go. 
All right, well, I guess this is the guy that we came to see. This is your man, Reverse Baez, chief engineer of Disriver Records. The man you've been sent to investigate. A speaker crackles in the background. Hello out there. You must be passionate, Patty. Everything's all ready for your command session. Just come into the studio. I'm waiting for you. Uh -huh. Deal. I guess I can't talk to him through that. Yeah, soundproof class. All right, in we go. I guess I'm recording an album. Uh -huh. Cool. Does Rever Records recording studio reminds you of your last studio session? Two big CD recordings of background music for a computer game called Laser Suit Larry 4 and that big contract you signed on with a mysterious someone known only as Julius, who never paid you one red cent for any of your work. Uh, oh, okay, got it. So Julius, yeah, yeah, he's our big bad. Got it. You grimace and silently hope this session goes better. Why, hello there, Patty. I'm Reverse Baez, chief engineer here at Does Rever Records. Not exactly sure what happened to my regular synthesis, but I sure appreciate you jumping in here to help us out like this. I'm sure you'll have no trouble with these tunes. The synth is programmed, the charts are on the music stand, the levels are checked, and I'm ready when you are, baby. <sighs> All right, well, let's do it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get evidence about for him, but just by playing for him, but this will win his trust, I imagine. Okay, Patty, just read the chart there on the stand. We'll take a few bars from your entrance. Listen for the clicks, then cut in on your solo. Take one. I am ahead of my time. Uh, did I, did I mess up? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that's not quite what the boss is looking for, Patty. I'm going to roll again from the top. Let's... Have a little bit more feeling, okay? I thought I did splendidly. There we go. I got this. Don't worry about it, guys. Oh, it actually won't let you mess it up, even if you want to. Ah. That's not what that music says at all. A great take, Patty. Uh, why don't you come into the control room now? We'll listen to the playback with me. <laughs> all right, here I come, boss. Get ready to be busted. Here you go, babe. Check this out. Yes, I've heard this like eight times before. I don't care. Nice playing, Patty. I bet you have wonderful technique. Am I going to seduce him? Probably. Reverse bias is the man FBI linked a backwards subliminal message recording at the studio, but he does look cute. Yeah, I'm probably going to screw his brains out. So, Mr. Baez, I understand you're quite a successful recording engineer. Yeah, I can't complain. I have had several clients who keep me quite busy. I just love studio work, you say with a knowing smile. Oh, well, you did a nice job on this cut. Why, thank you, Mr. Baez, you say, fluttering your lashes. I think I was especially inspired today by you. Warming noticeably, he continues, Well, uh, Patty, I do know a lot of important people in the recording business. I suppose I could drop your name in a few rye places. Um, oh, that would be wonderful, Mr. Baez. Uh, please, uh, call me reverse. I'm just going to skip right to the end here. More than willing to serve your country, especially with a hunk, you throw yourself enthusiastically into your mission. Blah. I can't tell if those sounds in the background are supposed to be moaning sounds or just part of the music. Uh-oh. Did I hit the record button? I think I did. Ow! What? Ow! What the fresh hell was that? Was that supposed to be a sound effect? Was that supposed to imply an orgasmic sound? Eventually, through one sacrifice after another, you eventually obtain a small cassette tape from Reverse Bias containing some of his best work. It's exactly the evidence you've been seeking. The boys back at the FBI lab will have a heyday playing with this one. Alright, so go to place. Unbeknownst to you, when you bunt your leg on the recording console in the excitement of the moment, you made a complete soundtrack of your lovemaking session. <laughs> Reverse later added a drum machine and synthesized bass line and created yet another hit record. Ironically, if you eventually got that number one record you've always wanted, but you knew nothing about it. At least once in your life, Patty, you hit the top of the charts. 
Ooh, meanwhile, back at the FBI's Mission Control Headquarters. I think I make stupid sex jokes. <laughs> What's she doing now, Agent Smith? I don't know, Inspector Desmond. It's kind of hard to figure out. Either she's in a tunnel somewhere near Baltimore, or she's dilated three centimeters. Uh -huh. After sacrificing yourself from your country, you slip out of the control room, through the studio, down the elevator, and back sheepishly to your limo. Oh, is it going to be with that same creepy driver? Yeah, probably. Um, well, I'm already floozing myself around. Hey, Mr. Driver, do you want some? I thought I tried that when we were in Baltimore. We are still in Baltimore. Welp, uh, I guess off to the next place. Maybe I should drop off this evidence first, but all right. So now I got to put in PC hammers. Got it. And off we go. K-Rap Radio, huh? It's a great place if you like rap. I sure do. Off we go, you beautiful driver. As you drift off to sleep, you begin to dream. Patty's chapters are really short. Well, I guess this is called a Leisure Suit Larry game, and oh my. Oh, Willie, put down that keyboard and practice a little touch typing on me. Now, 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 Patty, I'm about to finish cutting a deal with IBM. I guess that's supposed to be Bill Gates. Adorable. What am I covered in? Is that lingerie or is that like tape or something? Weird. Meanwhile, on the plane far, far away. Uh, all right, how's this gonna end poorly? Because it always does. During our absence, your dream of you and passionate Patty has progressed. You snuggle up together, drifting dreamily through the moonlight canals of Venice, the songs of the other gondoliers wafting softly across the waters. Suddenly, your gondola springs the most inopportune leak. All right into my crotch. Nah, to be expected. Oh, I get it. Oop, he he he, my bad. There's never anyone else on this plane ever. Awakening from your dream, you realize that you just filled your lap with your complimentary beverage. You fool! A voice crackles through the intercom speakers. Please tighten your seat belts and return your tray table to their fully upright lock position. We'll be landing momentarily. With a thud, I might add. Thank you very much. And it is again with an all too familiar scene that we find ourselves in Atlantic City. Thank you, game. I nearly forgot. I had a 50-50 chance and I almost probably blew it. Yes, I know. All right. Well, that behind us, another two chapters are done. So what have we, what have we accomplished? So we got the, uh, the evidence we needed for reverse bias. And yet we're going right to the other place with a golden record in our pocket with Patty. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room in that dress, and I don't see her carrying a purse. It's weird. A, a, a good agent would probably drop this off with FBI to put it in safekeeping before going into yet another lion's den, which is connected directly to the person you just got evidence against, so it's not confiscated, but whatever. I don't work with the FBI. And then Larry got all the things he needed with Michelle, recorded her going uh, to clean the floors, uh, that's probably what she was doing. Just getting all the crumbs off the floor below the table. She, she's really a, a nice gal like that. And here we are in Atlantic City to find the next person. Who is the next person? At least we'll find that out. Lana Luscious. There she are on Tramp's Boardwalk. I think I remember this and I think we get to go roller skating on the boardwalk. So I'm very excited. But that will save until next time. So that's our plan. And as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.